really easy to undo and open and ah, hat or you know if you've got a long run to work maybe a couple of cheese and pe peanut butter cheese and peanut but no I remember remember the 5th of November but we're actually going to forget about it because we're not going to be able to do it <laughs> Welcome back folks, I'm Lloyd Purvis and this is Run For Adventure. It's great to have you back, hope you are all fit and well. Over the years we've looked and tested and reviewed at lots of different running packs, but today we are looking at a running pack with a difference and it is the new running commuter pack from SaySky. <laughs> yep, the kind folks from SaySky have sent us one of their new running commuter packs to test and review at the channel. I'm sure there's a lot of guys out there that know me are thinking, well, Lloyd doesn't need a running commuter pack. He's just changed jobs. His job's about 300 meters from where he lives and it takes him about a minute to get there. So you're probably right. I don't need a running commuter pack, but it hasn't stopped us giving it a thorough testing. So let's go through a few facts and features of this new running commuter pack from SaySky. The SaySky pack is obviously pitched at the commuter market. It is one size fits all, but you've got lots of adjustment on the pack to give it a more personalized fit. It retails in the UK at 95 pounds. It is fully waterproof. The main pocket, the big pocket on the back is 12 liters in volume, but you also get a separate pocket if you want to stash your laptop or tablet. You get reflective logos on the back, so if you're leaving for work early in the morning or you're coming home late at night, it gives you a nice level of visibility. And on that back pocket, you also get a bungee cord, so if you want to cinch it down to compress everything in that back pocket so you don't get any bouncing while running. That's a few facts and figures, but let's go into a few more details on construction when it comes to this new pack from SaySky. The pack is constructed using 100% waterproof ripstop polyester, so you can guarantee all the kit you have in the back of it is gonna be really well protected from the elements. Just to double up on that protection, all the zips on the pack on all the pockets are very robust and they're waterproof. They have a nice long zip pull, so really easy to get hold of if you need to open and close the pockets while you're out running. Then when it comes to adjustment, again, lots of adjustment on the pack just to get that fit nice and personal. So down on the lower strap, lots of adjustment either side of the strap, a nice big solid buckle, so really easy to clip in and clip out of. And then when it comes to the top chest strap, you have, again, lots of adjustment, it's slightly elasticated, so when you're breathing a bit heavier when you're running, it's not going to constrict your breathing in any way. And you can also slide this strap on these two rules up and down the pack so you can get in the best position that fits the best for your body shape. When it comes to storage in the pack, you've got that main pocket on the back, which is 12 liters in volume. So a lot of space there to fit all them items you're gonna need once you get to your workplace. Separate to that main compartment, you've got a laptop or tablet pocket as well. It's a really nice secure fit there for your laptop, your expensive items, so they're not gonna bounce and rattle around while you're running to work. Also, a bit of additional storage. On this front, um, you've got two hip pockets so again nice robust zips waterproof zips so your kit's going to be well protected and good size pockets I would say they'll take most size mobile phones so if you want to put a mobile phone in there or gloves or cap or if you've got a long run to work maybe a couple of cheese and onion sandwiches just to keep you going also in that back pocket the uh, pack will take a bladder system, so you've got a nice substantial hook to clip a bladder in, so again, you can keep hydrated while you're making your way through your commute. When it comes down to comfort of the pack, we've got a good level of cushioning and padding on this lower strap, keeping it really nice and comfortable, but we've also got the same on the back of the pack. So. The padding gives you that level of comfort, but it also gets the pack away from the body, giving you that added layer of ventilation. You've also got that bungee cord system on the back, so if the pack isn't fully loaded, you can cinch it down so it compresses down and it holds that kit nice and stable while you're running. You've also got a really good level of high vis on the back of the pack, so if you're having to leave early or if you're coming home late in the dark, it's really gonna stand out if you're running on the roads, which is super important when we 
going into winter. So obviously a commuter pack full of great features, but let's go through the things that we've really enjoyed about the pack and maybe the things that we feel didn't quite work when it comes to the new commuter pack from Sky. But let's start with the good bits. The first super positive thing we need to talk about is the fit of the pack and the adjustment on this pack. So lots of adjustment on both straps, being able to slide this top strap up and down makes it really easy to sort of personalize the fit so you can get the pack nice and snug so even fully loaded you're not getting lots of bounce and lots of movement while you're running which is super important when it comes to a commuter pack and then the next thing we got to talk about is quality so it's something i've kind of grown to know about say sky having uh, reviewed some of their kit before their kit is always amazingly good quality and brilliantly well put together. No difference when it comes to the pack. This ripstop, 100% waterproof uh, polyester, real solid fabric. You can feel it and you can feel that it's going to hold up to the test of time. It's going to be really resilient. When it comes down to the zips, the same thing. You know, These zips are super robust. They're going to hold up to being open thousands of times, no problem whatsoever. And just the overall finish on the pack, the stitching, you can tell it's a really well thought out, really well put together piece of kit used in some top quality fabrics, that's for sure. The bungee system on this back compartment again works really well. So we've got a bungee and again a really solid bungee that's not going to let you down. So if it's fully packed, not a problem with movement, but if it's only half full, you can cinch these bungees down. It's going to compress the volume of the pack and hold that stuff nice and secure. So again, no shaky stuff, no rattling about, no movement while you're running to work. And then when it comes to the padding, uh, when it comes to the comfort of the pack, we've got lots of nice sort of padded cushion zones on that backpack, but it also lifts the pack away. So I found it, you know, really breathable, even though it's quite a big unit, there's quite a lot of pack there, it was actually really breathable to run in. I also think adding a nice bit of high vis on the pack, and this really stands out when it's picked out by car headlights. Again, especially this time of year, going into them darker, colder, wetter, miserable winter months, um, this really stands out. So it gives it a nice bit of high vis when it comes to the traffic. When it comes to the main storage area on the pack, it's great that it's got 12 litres of volume, so you can get all them workday necessities in there. And obviously being waterproof, they're going to be fully protected. But also having this internal laptop um, or tablet pocket, it's made out of a kind of stretchy neoprene fabric. So once you've got your tech in there, it is super secure. It doesn't move while you're running, which obviously is an important feature. So a really well thought out working pocket internally. And then on the front of that pocket, we've got these two bungee cords. Again, real quality in these bungee cords. They're gonna stand up to the test of time as well. So um, if it's full up, not an issue, but if you've only got, say, the pack half full, you can cinch down these cords. It's gonna compress that volume and it's just gonna hold everything a bit more securely in the back of the pack. So that's all the things that we think have worked really well when it comes to the commuter pack. There is one thing that we're a little bit doubtful on, and that is when you read the information about this new pack from Sayscar, Obviously, they pitch it as a commuter pack, but they also say it can be used for long trail runs. Um, that's an area where I, I don't really agree with. I don't think it really crosses over into that trail environment. It is very commuter specific. I think for the price point of £95, you could probably get yourself uh, a trail running vest that's specifically designed for that exercise. It's going to be a bit lighter. It's going to be a bit more breathable when it comes to running in it, but it's also going to have a little bit more accessible storage. So more pockets to get to while you're out there running. So that is a few facts and figures and a bit of information about how the pack is constructed and a bit of an insight into what we've liked about the pack and maybe a few of the things that we haven't gone on with when it comes to the pack. But let's wrap this up with a quick conclusion. So when it comes to the quality of the pack, I have been super, super impressed. The build quality, the fabrics used, the features on the pack, really well thought out, really well put together. That one negative, you know, can this be used as a trail running pack? I personally think it doesn't really cross over to that environment particularly well. I wouldn't use it as a trail running pack. I get asked to the channel a lot um, by viewers who've got, a, say, a Salomon Advanced 12 skin pack for their trail running. Can they use it as a commuter pack? And I suppose they could, but I personally don't think it would work particularly well in that environment because it's designed for a different activity. 
It's very similar with this pack, you know. This is very commuter based and the features in it are really driven towards commuting. So again, I think there is better packs for when it comes to trail running at this price point. But if you're after a commuter pack that's gonna hold all your workday essentials, it's gonna keep them safe, protected and dry, and you want a quality pack that is gonna stand up to them tough commuter miles, then the commuter pack from Say Sky is definitely worth checking out. So that is a wrap on another review at Run For Adventure, guys. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a big thumbs up. It really helps the channel out. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with future content. I've left a link in the description for the running pack or for Say Sky as a brand. If you want to find out any more information, please click that link below. And don't forget guys, get in the comments. Have you run in the Say Sky pack? How have you found it? Or do you commute with a different brand of pack and really get on with it? Let us know in the comments below. I hope all the eagle-eyed viewers out there have noticed that I've actually wore a grey hoodie in this review wearing a black pack. In a couple of our other reviews we did on Running Vest, I wore a black hoodie and it was a black pack and you couldn't see it. So I definitely do listen, but for now, we got some new merchandise available at Run For Adventure, a real premium hoodie. They feel amazing on the skin and really nicely fitted. They are available at runforadventure.uk. Definitely worth going and checking out. It's a great way of supporting the channel. But for now, guys, thanks so much for watching. It's really appreciated. We will see you in the next video. And as always, stay safe and keep on running. <laughs> Yeah. You're mad, man.